Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Netflix's new series, Emily in Paris, the one that all the French people hate. And I don't blame them, because basically the show is just a bunch of cliches, and really obnoxious portrayal of French people, and honestly Americans. This show is really just full of stereotypes, and it's like, this film's a romantic comedy about this young woman played by Lily Collins, who who's Emily, who goes to Paris to work there, doesn't speak French, and deals with all that backlash, and, like, there's a lot of, like, American hating in this, a lot of, like, it's basically, like, portraying the worst possible French characters for Emily to be like, why are you so awful? You should act like this and stop being so awful. And basically, like, under this American girl with no experience in France coming in and telling French people how to live. And this is why French people don't like a lot of Americans. So, yay. And the show doesn't do any favors. And you're sitting here, Lily Collins is extremely charismatic. She has great chemistry with a lot of the other actors in the show. So, like, if it wasn't for her charmingness, I would have really hated Emily. Not the hugest fan still, but... She has a lot of charm to her, and there's a lot going on in this series. You have her relationships at work with, like, her boss, played by Philippine Leroy Bolu, and she's great in this. She's very biting and has very specific thoughts on how Emily acts. You have Gabrielle, played by Lucas Bravo, who's, like, Lily Collins, Emily's love interest, neighbor downstairs, but... He's dating one of her best friends that she made in Paris. So that's complicated. And then some of her clients are digging on her or digging on her boss. So that's complicated. Basically, this show is just a bunch of strings of complicated relationships. Awkward humor because of those relationships. And, like, has ideas about social media and marketing and how you can use them. And it's... I feel like this show's kind of trying to be, like, finding, like, how this girl gets a little cultured in France, but she brings a little America to France and makes them better, too, and feels like it's such done in such a heavy-handed, like, hitting in the face with a sledgehammer kind of way that it doesn't really work very well. You could just sit and watch this show and just take it in for the fluff that it is and just enjoy the rom-com. Or you could sit there and think a lot deeper into, like, this is really frustrating, and I can see why people are really critical of this show. In the end, I think Emily in Paris, looking at it from this is just a rom-com, it's not very original, it has a lot of cliches, it's just a easy watching kind of thing, but if you want to go any deeper into its portrayals and its stereotypes and stuff like that, it's pretty frustrating and you could criticize it a lot. But in the end, those are my thoughts on Emily in Paris. Would I recommend it? Eh. If you really like rom-coms, I think you'll probably enjoy it. But outside of that, probably not. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. And let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.